Welcome to the magnificent Maasai Mara on this sunrise safari. We're back with, uh, there only seems to be one male lion still on that buffalo carcass. My name is Brent Yersmith. I have Dangerous Dave the Dish Eastall on camera. And we have a surprise. It's popping out of the torrent for the first time from the Mara is Jamie. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I made it. You made it, yes. Made it. So, um, Jamie is going to be with us in the vehicle, but you might not see too much of it. We're going to be learning roads and all that type of stuff. But what a way to start with lions and uh, Jamie's favorite. And there's lots of them yeah. dotted around the grass, um, waiting for the lion to move away. So, let's go. Okay, we've got one. There's a Thompson's gazelle in the background. If you go further down the road, Dave. There's another one. No, down the road, Dave. Other down. Wait, no, left. Zoom. There, coming towards us. Yep. There's another hyena. And so that's two. There's about three or four in the long grass we can't see. There's another one walking across. But there's probably about 15 or so hyenas, but obviously they're, they're still not quite ready to take on the male lion. But looking at them, they all look really well fed, so there's no, no real need to risk their life and limb battling with a Mara king uh, when they probably get their own food somewhere else. But they are, of course, opportunists, so they're waiting for him to move off. He has gone fast asleep. Um, you can barely see him in the grass now. Uh, he's just to the left of the carcass. There we go, you can just make him out. Now I've also got some very good news. We had a guides meeting last night with the Angama guides. And uh, just behind you'll see a line of trees. Now that is called the twin streams. There's two streams there. And uh, one of the Ololololo lionesses, who is sort of an uh, an offshoot of the Angama Pride. Uh, they came from the Marsh Pride in 2014 together, uh, have had three tiny little cubs. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive around and we're going to hope, to all hopes, we manage to spot those tiny little cubs in that drainage system. And especially while the big boy's head is down, um, there's not much to see apart from the old hooded vulture, who's still lurking about. But it is going to be a very exciting morning. So remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions for us. And we are live from Kenya. So we really need to get moving and so we can drive all the way around to that drainage system to see if we can find the cubs. I have a question. Jamie has a question. A question. Um, which male lion is this? Oh, which male lion is this? That is a this? very, very, very... No, you're not allowed to sit up. That is against park rules. <laughs> Naughty Jamie. Uh, no Rebel. <laughs> um, so, uh, Jamie's wondering which lion. It's a part of a full male lion coalition. Um, they are currently unnamed. Um, they're sometimes called the Angama Boys. I've started nicknaming them the Triangle Boys, but they're not named yet. But there are four of them. Um, uh, no. Well, there were three here the other day, and one was off um, mating with one of the Angama lionesses down near the Samaki Swamp. Okay, well, we're going to move on. While we do that, let's loop zoom all the way back to Juma to see what's happening in the Greater Kruger. <laughs> 